Welcome back to part two of my secret alleyway series in Cambodia, home to some of the coolest bars and food scene in town. In this series, I share with you some popular hangout spots and unique bars for both locals and expats in the beautiful capital city of Phnom Penh. This next one is by far one of our most favorite streets in Cambodia, and I hope you get to experience it too. Hey good people, it's Linda, and I moved to Cambodia in 2022. I take you along on my journey of exploring beautiful Srok Khmer through my lens as a Cambodian-American expat. So in this video, join me on a tour of Basat Lane, where I highlight six unique spots we visited. So let's go take a look. Once a quiet residential neighborhood, Basat Lane can be found on Street 308. Now there are a few ways to get here, but the easiest path is from Street 41 or Pre Norodom Boulevard. Unlike Lanka Lane, which I highlighted in the first video of this series that you can check out here, Basat Lane has both foot traffic, motos, and cars passing through. So make sure to be extra careful when walking around here. This eclectic street is one of Phnom Penh's most vibrant dining and drinking destinations. And with tourism increasing in Cambodia, there have been efforts to liven the street with new signage and lights. So unfortunately, you won't see its once iconic umbrella lights anymore. But you can still find Backstreet Bar, which sits top of the list and is in our opinion, the most popular place to visit on this lane. Introduced to us by Khmerican and Perfect Ten founder Patrick Derek Pan, Backstreet Bar is great for enjoying pizza and drinks, hanging out with friends, or dancing the night away. It had its start in 2017 in a different neighborhood, but it has grown and is one of the anchors of Basat Lane. Founded by Kampong Cham native, Tita Gao's welcoming personality made the spot feel both inviting and fun for us. From resident and guest DJs to fire shows, Backstreet Bar really knows how to throw a party. You can enjoy a fun night at their weekly Thursday quiz nights or book a special event here. They've hosted everything from Cambodian wedding ceremonies to birthdays, pajama parties, and more. Make sure you check out their face page in the link below to stay up to date with what's happening here. What I've also found unique about this spot is that it brings in both local and expat visitors. So come here to have a good time and hang out, but make sure you stay and get to know the people. It's what made coming here even more memorable for us. Next is Mama Wong's Dumpling Noodle House, which is located just across from Backstreet Bar. This Asian fusion restaurant makes fresh noodles and dumplings daily. You can choose from typical flavors such as pork and cabbage, or you can order something meatier like lamb with coriander and cumin, or my favorite, miso beef with shiso dressing. Another one of my favorites is their Kung Pao Chicken and Cauliflower Pop. Both are full of flavor and cook perfectly. Their other menu items are just as good, with their bowls of noodle soup or stir fry, all under $5 each. In fact, their lunch set comes with a main course, side dish, and tea or coffee for just $5.50. Now, onto what is perhaps the bar with the most unique cocktail ingredient on the block, called Uniga. Located on the end of the alley of the original Basat Lane, Uniga's most popular drink is called Ons Ad Avaimle, or You Are So Beautiful, and contains a Khmer staple dish, the Prahok. The Prahok is a salted and fermented fish paste used in Cambodian cuisine as a seasoning or a condiment. But for this drink, the prahok has been extracted into liquid form and serves as the cocktail's base ingredient. That base is then blended with whiskey, honey, citrus, ginger, and one large ice cube. 
And then it's topped off with a spray of more Prahok mist and lemon peel. Now, don't let the fish flavored cocktail turn you off. Its salty and tangy flavor is probably the best cocktail on the block. Enjoy this drink along with many other uniquely named cocktails, and be sure to pay kudos to one of the business owners, Isette, who's always welcoming and friendly to those who visit. Who knows, the longer you stay there, the more likely you'll get a free shot or two. Now, if you're enjoying these unique finds, don't forget to check out part one of the series where I take you to my favorite burger joint on Lanka Lane called Burger Shack. The ground beef patty is so good here and comes with some very crispy fries. Pair it off with your drink of choice for just $5. Now on to another bar in Basat Lane is Hub Street Cocktail located on Street 21 near the intersection of Street 308. Hub's founder, Dara, originally operated the business as a street cocktail stand near Wat Batong, but has since elevated to a welcoming and friendly restaurant. This hidden gem is usually opened later in the day starting at 4 p.m. and it's a great spot for craft cocktails and delicious Khmer street food. Not only is the food affordable, but the live music and relaxed vibe keeps people coming back. Basat Lane is also home to other diverse food options including the next two, Greek and Mexican food. Elia Greek Kitchen on Basat Lane looks small on the outside, but once you walk through, it's hard to tell we were even on Basat Lane. During the rainy season, they even have a covered second floor you can enjoy your meal at. Another spot to try is Itakate's newly opened taco truck, located next to a boat lounge and pub. This spot is a new addition to Basat Lane, joining the area just in August of 2022. However, Itakate is not new to the scene. They have a restaurant located on Street 302, which is where we actually learned of them. We often go there for their Taco Tuesday deal, where you can get a taco for just a dollar and fifty cents each. They also serve other authentic Mexican cuisine, including enchiladas, chimichangas, y fajitas. Whether you're visiting Phnom Penh for the first time or you're looking for a unique drinking and dining experience, Basat Lane is the place to be. There are so many more bars and shops to explore in this eclectic street that will surely make your time here more than memorable. So which one stands out to you? Let me know in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and smash that bell to stay tuned for part 3 of the series where I share with you way right by the Cambodian palace. And if you want to learn more about the palace, then check out my list of top 8 attractions to visit in Phnom Penh. I'll see you in the next video. All good and jimdibliya.